You know there's a lot of sales tonight, too. There is? There is. Yeah. Sarita's having a sale, and Pink Poodle's having a sale, and all of them start at 7 o'clock. Sarita's Hi, having ladies. a sale, and Pink uh -oh. Poodle's having a sale, and all of them start at 7 o'clock. Okay. Hi, Sarita's having a sale, and all of them start at 7 o'clock. Okay. Hi, Sarita's having a sale. Uh oh, now I can't hear. What did I do? <laughs> uh, I didn't think of that. What happened? It's echoing back through because. I didn't think of that. What happened? <laughs> I'm going to go grab some earbuds, hang on just a minute, and that will solve okay. that problem. I'm going to go grab some earbuds, hang on just a minute, and that will solve that problem. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for coming. Can you guys hear me okay? Hi, Lauren. Thanks for coming. Can you guys hear me okay? How are you guys doing? It's so good to be able to talk to you. How are you guys doing? It's so good to be able to talk to you. Hope you're all having a good summer. Okay, y'all bear with me just a minute. My first time doing this myself. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Miss Jelly Bean's going to teach us how to make some rosettes and stuff tonight. Isn't that exciting? Are you there, James? I'm here. I'm trying to figure out how to make the headset work. It's not working. I knew something would mess up. <laughs> Oh, that squeal is horrible. Can you hear that on your end? Do you hear a squeal, lady? Yeah, where Lauren said spooky feedback.
Okay, can you say something? Can you hear us okay? Oh, that is perfect. Can you hear us, Janice? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the squeal's gone. That's perfect. How's that, ladies? Is that better? Robin says that's better. Yay. There's still an echo. Donna, what have you got on? I don't have anything on. I don't hear the echo or the squeal or anything anymore. Okay, maybe it just took me a minute to catch up. Does it sound good on your end? Are you... Is it repeating on your end? No, it sounds perfect on my end. I think it's repeating through yours. Your sound. Are you watching on one and list and recording on the other? I have StreamYard on my phone and I have YouTube on my iPad, but I don't have sound on on my iPad. It's off. Okay, you where? They're all saying it sounds good, no echo. So it must be on your end. No so repeating. What's happening? You. I'm hearing everything you say twice. Huh. I uh, see. I was hearing that, but I'm not now that you put the earbuds in. No, it was doing it before. I thought it was me, but I think what it is. I think it's you have the sound on your iPad and the sound on your phone. And it's when it comes through your phone, it's going back through your iPad. So what do I do? Uh, one of them's got to be muted. And I believe the one with the stream yard... The one with the stream yard, the one you're recording on? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to... Hi, Angelica. How are you? Thanks for coming. Hi, Brian. Thanks for coming. Hi, April. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Veronica. Thank you guys for coming. Hello, everybody. It didn't. No, there it goes. <laughs> Okay, what it's doing, Donna, is when I say something a few minutes later, due to the lag, it says that it, it repeats. Huh. Are any of y'all hearing anything repeat?
They're saying it sounds good. No echo and more. Okay. You're repeating too. <laughs> I am. What about now? Hang on a minute. Now is it still repeating? Is it still doing it? Hang on. No. Yep, there it went. Huh. Well, I turned my iPad off and turned my computer on, and it's... I. So that's not it. Is it terrible that you can't get through the live with it, or no? Well, the problem is, when I go to start talking, you're repeating. Like, right now, you're talking again. Huh. Um, click your settings again, and check the echo cancellation back out. Check it. it check I'm going to try earbuds, too. See if that helps. Because it, it quit on my end when you put your earbuds in. Okay. So I'm going to try earbuds and see if that helps. Sorry, guys. We're just working out some technical difficulties here. Now, this is my first time, y'all. <laughs> I'm just learning all the settings and how they work. My goodness gracious, these things are in all kinds of knots. I ain't never used earbuds before. I don't even know where to plug them in at. Huh. I don't think I got a spot to plug them in at. Do I? I don't is see it one. USB or is it? It's a little pluggy. Can you see it? I don't yeah, think I got you should have a hole. There should be a microphone hole on the front of, on the, what are you trying to put it in, the phone or the iPad? The phone. I had a pair that plugged in like your charger, but I think Jody got away with them. I think he done oh, took off with them. If it's on the iPad, you got to have one like this. Jody swapped mine. It plugged in like a charger, you know. Okay. Plus two, y'all, I have a brand new setup. I put a computer in here with a webcam and everything, so I'm trying to figure out how everything's working. Hi, Lizzie. How you doing? Are you feeling better, honey?
You got it, Donna? Is it better? Give it a minute for the lag. <laughs> It's still repeating for some reason. Did you go back into settings on StreamYard and on the microphone check the, on the audio check the echo cancellation? No, you want me to do that? I was yeah. trying the headphones, but I couldn't get to them. Okay, take it to you because I'm going to have to take my phone down. Okay, hang on a second. Let me. I don't want to make them dizzy. Okay. All right. Can y'all see okay my screen? Hello, Shirley and Robin and everybody here, Angelica. Thank y'all for coming. Did you switch your settings over to um, headphones? It's blurry. Oh, yeah, it is blurry. Okay, I'm figuring out a new camera here. This. Yeah. Is it better? Is it better now? No, yours is really blurry. Um, really? Okay. Let me look on. Hello, my brother. Timber Steel Studios is the wood maker, y'all. He's the one that makes all the wood stuff, the cups and all. That's my brother. Yeah, y'all, please give a thumbs up. Um, this is my first live, so <laughs> be gentle with me. My mom is here. Hey, mom. You're welcome, Robin. I seen your comment. I'm glad you got it. Okay, am I still blurry, y'all? Can you hear me? Yeah. But you know what? It's got to be on my end somehow because when I'm sitting here talking to myself, actually... <laughs> It's it's echoing. It's repeating. Yeah, so they said they don't hear it either. Timber Steel Studios, thank you for coming. Hello. The Timber is Steel Studios is my brother, Donna. I thought so. I thought, oh, I think it is. I think it is. Hi, how are you? Okay, Donna, I'm going to go back out and reset my settings and come back in. Bear with me just a moment. Okay. Hi, Sabrina. How are you? Hi, Esther. Thank you guys so much for coming. Sorry, you're looking at my ceiling light. I'm uh, sitting here holding this, trying to be as still as I can until she gets back so I can hook it back up.
Oh no, Sabrina, what's wrong? Hi, Cruz. How are you, honey? Uh, weren't those bag toppers amazing, Angelica? I love seeing every single one of them. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited to uh, see all the little um, banner strips this month. I think that's going to be so fun. Oh, no. I hope she feels better, Cruz. First week of school for Zach, and today's Zach tests. Oh, no. For the new strain, the Delta. Okay. Are you there, Donna? I'm here. Can you hear me okay now? I think I figured out what it is, but now I have to figure out how to fix it. Still the echo? Yeah. But Can you put it on you? I want to hang my phone back up, but I don't want to make them terribly dizzy or sick. Okay, hang on just a second. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you got a comment up on the screen. Oh. Uh... Sorry. Okay, I think I got it. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to like this one more than I did the first one. I thought the first one was awesome. Like which one? What are you talking about? The banner that I'm doing. Oh, okay. Did you see the first one? I did a video of it, and I posted it on the... The group, too. I did. Yes, I love how it turned out. But this one's like, oh, my goodness. I'm really liking it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting started. The first one was beautiful. I'm going to take it down and give it to my daughter-in-law. I think she'd enjoy it. Okay. I know what it is, but I can't figure out how to do it because the sound is coming through YouTube and the sound is coming through StreamYard. And if I mute the YouTube, then I can't hear at all. <laughs> But I can't mute the stream yard. Is anybody familiar with this? <laughs> I'll bet it's my settings on my stream yard that's messing mine up then. Are you hearing the repeat of everything said? I'm no, it sounds 
perfect on my end. Paula, when I mute YouTube, then I can't hear at all. It don't let me hear anything. Hi, oh, Paula. Wait a minute. Thanks for coming. I'm going to take the earbuds out a minute, and I'm going to mute YouTube. Did you figure it out? And see if that works. Um, I think I know what it is. Well, that wasn't it. <laughs> Doggone it. I've got to have the sound coming through YouTube in order to hear. I know it's not repeating on y'all's ends, but I'm getting hearing everything repeated. I know it's not repeating on y'all's ends. Oh, now I'm hearing it again. That's because I took the earbud out. Hang on. I was seeing if that would work. Oh, no. That's because I took the earbud out. Hang on. I was seeing if that would work. Hi, Paula. How are you? Thanks for coming. There's only one thing to do. Hang on a second. Okay. I'll get it working here in just a second, y'all. I know what to do now. <laughs> Got some goodies coming, Lizzie.
going. Woo! Got lots of new stuff out for the sale this week, you guys. Two more days. I'm excited. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. I had to enter StreamYard with another device so I could. Oh, there, don't look it there. Don't anyway, this works. <laughs> No more feedback on your end? Alright. At least I think it's working. Alright. Hello everybody. I am so sorry. This is what happens when you do a new setup. I am making a banner. Um, I recently uploaded one on my channel, a banner that I did, and it's from a group that we're in. It's a Shabby Art Boutique. Is that right, Janice? Shabby Art Boutique. Yeah. And it's a monthly subscription to a digital kit. And... Um, when you become a member, then you get it's an exclusive members only uh, group, is what it is for the digital kits. And this was an added bonus that she made us for this past month. It was a banner kit, and so I just printed it out and cut it all out. And of course, I've layered it so it's thicker and sturdy. And uh, then I just putting putting it all together, decorating it and stuff. And it's so beautiful. Uh, the papers are gorgeous. The images are gorgeous. And I just, I'm having such a good time working with it. So I made one uh, as soon as she gave us the kit, I made one because I couldn't wait to make it. And now I'm making another one. So, but oh my goodness, I just love it. But no, it's going to be a banner. It's fall themed. It's just shabby fall themed. Yeah, and the wait a minute. Still technical difficulties. I gotta figure this sound out. Anyway, it's a subscription service to a digital club. Yes. And she makes absolutely gorgeous kits. Um 
I'll find the link and link it in my description box on the video of the banner that I did. That way, if something you guys are interested in, you know, digital collections, you could check it out. So I'll get it linked up this for today. Huh? Did you see the one for this month? Yes, I've already printed it. <laughs> I've already printed it. I'm in the works of cutting it out, so Yeah. I can make some beauty inside of it. Yet, but it's gorgeous. The other one I had more blues and stuff in. This one I wanted to put more mint greens and pinks and things in. Uh, I thought it was pretty the way you did it. Yeah, I really, I really, really like it. I just wanted this one to be different, so. Sorry, I'm going back and forth and back and forth. One to the other, to the other. <laughs> yes, Paula, it's the Shabby Art Boutique Kit. Yes, this is the fall banner kit that she released uh, well, last she month. She has a free printable site for members, and that come off that site. Hi, Pretty Bee. Thanks for coming. Hi, Blanca. Is it Blanca or Blanca? I'm not sure. Look at these flowers, you guys. I hope you can see them. Hang on, I'll put you single so they can see real good. Oh, that's the wrong single. These are going to be in the sale on Wednesday. They are so cute. Hold them up a little bit closer, Donna, to the camera. You're back in portrait. You're not in landscape again. Aren't they adorable? They look like little pom-poms. And then they got little flowers on there, too. They're gorgeous. I love them. I think they look like cotton. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of, don't they? They're so cute. I want that pumpkin on there. I promise I'm going to show you all how to make these, but it's going to take me about five minutes to show you how to make these. So These are my shabby pom-poms, and I like to fluff them up a little bit. I got to learn where my spot is here. And oh, I love those. They're so they're fluffy. They are. Oh, I, I love like the them. Layer of them. There's not much you need to make them. I have a pair of these scissors that are for herbs. They sell them as tassel scissors, too. But I have these. You need those. And a stapler and a regular pair of scissors. That's all you need to make these. And the crepe paper. Uh -huh. um, I'll show them real quick how to make these, Donna. Okay, yeah, make, go and solo then, so you, we can see it better. Well, I was going to say, I can show them how to make these because it's not going to take that long. And then you can work on your banner. I'll put you on solo. And then while you're doing the banner, I'll try to decorate a couple of them and then come back and show them decorating. Oh, Mama says she can't hear you. Okay. Hang on. Hi, Lena. So Thanks for coming in. 
Is there anybody can else? You guys have not hear Candace? Oh, there you uh, go. I can hear you real good now. Can you hear me now, Mom? <laughs> I turned it down hoping that I wouldn't echo, but I'm still getting the echo and I don't know what the heck's going on. But I'll figure it out later. I'm just going to have to sit here and deal with an echo. And if y'all want to know, I will also show you how to make the crepe paper bows. Those take about two minutes. All right. All right. I'm going to make a yellow one first. All right, you going to wait Donna, so they can see what you're yeah, doing if I go solo? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I think that gives me more room, too. Alright. This is Dollar Tree crepe paper. And the only thing I do, and I'll measure for y'all. I don't usually measure, but just so y'all know... here about 24 inches and I double it I fold it in half well it's 48 inches because I double a 24 inch piece so it's 48 inches folded in half And then I fold it in half again. And then I fold it in half again. And you end up with a little piece like this. And then I just take the fringe scissors and I start at one end and I cut halfway up just to about halfway I don't really measure my camera is like so far away but cut it about halfway up all the way across one side and sometimes I make one a little too wide I just go back with the regular scissors and cut it And they don't have to be perfect, but then I unfold it to the 24 inch size where it's doubled. There's two of them. This is what makes it so fluffy. So there's two of them here folded in half. And I always fold my end under. I don't know why I just do that. <laughs> it probably doesn't matter. And then you just do it like a rosette. You fold it over and just gather and go all the way around until you run out of crepe paper. It feels really weird hearing myself echo back. <laughs> it's still doing it. Oh, goodness. I'll figure it out. I just, this is the first time I've ever done it and on StreamYard with me. Doing all the settings, you guys, so. I think we're gonna do. Are we going to do the sale on your channel this week? Yeah, I'll have it figured out by then if you want to. I mean, is it, everything working okay from your end? Yeah, I, it's blurry. I mean, you're blurry. I'm blurry. Yeah. Is she blurry on your end, guys?
because on my screen I've got YouTube and StreamYard open and it's Can you guys hear Janice? Veronica says she can't hear you. Yeah, they're saying it's blurry on their end too. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to go back to my phone setup. I got to do <laughs> until I figure it out. Anyway. Um. I've got the. Let me make sure. I, Okay, what about now? Can they hear me now? Well, I can hear you real good now. Yeah, they're saying you, you're low, but they can hear you. I had turned it down so I wouldn't hear myself echo so loud. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, y'all. Can y'all see what I'm doing? You just take it, fold it over, and just make like a little gather. And then move it and make another one. I should put the camera closer. I got it too far away. This is what makes them real fluffy when you go around twice and usually 24 inches will, is enough to go around twice. And then when you get to the end, just take your stapler and then fluff it up. And sometimes I get them crooked since I was holding it in the air. I got a little crooked. <laughs> you can just give it a haircut. Wow, those are so pretty. I love those. See how simple they are? Yes. I don't have those scissors like you got, though. You know where I found them? Where? Dollar General on the clearance aisle for a dollar fifty. Really? Recently or no? Uh, it hadn't been too long. I've seen another pair there at a different Dollar General, but I bought all the ones they had at the one Dollar General. But I've already given them all away, except for that one. But I think regular price for them was like four ninety nine. I'll have to check not out that and see if they've got it's them. It's not the price of the fringe scissors. They're cheaper. And Walmart's got them too. Do they really? Yeah, but Are you have to look in the kitchen area? section, not in the crap section. In the kitchen area? Kitchen area? Why yeah. the kitchen area? Because they're for cutting herbs in little pieces. <sighs> oh, okay. They're for shredding herbs. I did not know that. I wish I'd, yeah, I wish I had the paper they come in. I don't know. Anyway, that is our little fluffy rosette. What do y'all think? I know it's Cruz's color. <laughs> I think they're gorgeous. I love those. And then to make the bow, these little bows. You are you ready for this, Donna? Because <laughs> yeah. when I showed them to you before, you said, oh, the time that would take. Yes. Let me show you. Oh, I forgot to get my glue. Uh, I got another one. I'll use this one. I take a little piece like this. Hi, Brandy. Thanks for coming in. How you feeling? And this is. Tom88, hello, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, ladies. 
you see what I did, Donna? I took it and I folded it over twice to make yeah. a little skinny piece for the center of your bow. Then you're going to take a piece, and this is, just so y'all know, this is about 18 inches long, but I'm going to cut most of it off. And I just take and make an X on top of like that. Do you see what I did? Oh, yeah. I folded it over. Now pinch it in. Take this, put it around the center, and you glue it on the back, and then you fluff your bow. No way. Yeah, that's way. Oh my goodness. See how simple that is? Those are beautiful. I love those. Voila bow. And then you cut your ends off the way you want them. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. I should have used a darker color so you could see it better. I gotta go buy me but some of that paper now. Crepe paper at Dollar Tree. Two rolls for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go get some. My Dollar Tree is like uh, an hour from me, though. For some reason, when I first seen crepe paper rosettes, I had an obsession with crepe paper, and I've got boxes of it. What color you want? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what color is <laughs> But did, who missed it? Cruz, did you fall asleep again? I'm going to have to go get my glue. I'm going to put it on you, Donna, and I'm going to go get my glue. Okay. And then I'll show them again here. What part did you miss, Cruz? The bow or the rosette? Or both? You didn't see me make this fluffy yellow one? Alright, let's get Donna back on here. I'll do it again in a little bit, okay? Let's watch Donna do her thing. I gotta go grab the glue anyway. Look, Donna. Oh, 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 wait. There you go, Donna. Can y'all see it? I don't know where my little circle's at now. <laughs> Took my phone uh -oh. down long. Well, there I can go. see the banner with the blue ribbon going down the side and the one at the top with the white base going up the side. I want okay, to I'm just there. making a little bow right here for this right now. This is my finger bows out of my seam binding. I'll show you this one. I think I'm about done with this one. That is so pretty. How many of them are there all together to go across? Oh, there are several elements. You don't have to use them all, but I, I like to use them all. I think I had 10 or 11 from the first one. The first yeah, uh, so banner. That I, I had 10 or 11 pieces to it. Hi, honey. How are you? Say hi to the ladies. Leslie's here, my son. Hi, 
getting ready for work, honey? Oh, okay. Good deal. Well, we're we're crafting and talking to the, all the ladies tonight. Two more hours, and I get to take my test. Or test out. Oh, that's awesome news! Can you see this one? Yes. Hi, Leslie. I was hunting glue. <laughs> she was trying to find some glue. Okay, honey. I love you. If you are. Sure, I'll take one too. <laughs> Hell, we should take one too. I've sent an air mail. We do that, though, then we'd have to take everybody's order in the chat. <laughs> right? I had a little snack before we come on. I had little, I got a uh, cantaloupe from the farmer's market. Mm. And I cut it earlier and had a little dab of that before we come on. Um, oh, it was so good. I love the fresh ones right out of the garden, you know. Oh, my goodness. Those are the best ones. Yes, and I love my veggies and my fruits. That's my favorite. There, I just thought that needed a bow. And this is some of my hand-dyed cotton fabric that I did. Oh, I was using some of that the other day. I like that. Yes, I do too. It's so shabby. It's like frayed on the sides where I ripped it, and it's so shabby. Love it. You ain't had none of that at the sale for a while. No, I haven't made any more. I've been planning on it, but um, I don't know. I got to going through these books this week and my flowers and all that stuff. And it's been busy, busy. I got flowers and I've got some charms. I found a whole bunch of um, Halloween charms that I got like almost two years ago and I haven't used any of them. So I did bag those up and I'm, I'm going to have those in the sale too. Some Halloween charms. And then I've got these flowers and then I'm going to put some books in there. And so ladies, if you like books, I'm going to have lots of books. Uh, Lizzie says she loves the beautiful tag you sent her. Oh, thank you so much. I thought you'd like that. Um, but I'm gonna have some books, and these books are are I looked them up online, and there's some of them that's worth quite a bit of money. If you'd want to take time to sell them, I'm not gonna do that. But I do want to get rid of them because I need the room. So if anybody's interested in some vintage. Um, books then and music uh, books too yes I'm going to have this this amazing music book I'll give you a little sneak peek at the sale Wednesday I think we're going to do an auction on it so and it's hardcover and it's huge I'll measure it at the sale and it's in excellent condition I looked it up online and on eBay it sells. Uh, which one was the cheapest? Was it eBay, eBay or the vintage bookstore? I believe is where I found it. And it sells for 52 something at the vintage bookstore. Wow. And it, there's 300 pages in here. 372 pages in here. You can see all the pages. They're all That's in enough perfect music sheets pages. for every day of the year. Yes. And I mean, it's, it's a very nice, nice book. 
And if I keep it, I'm going to cut it all up and make journals out of it. So if someone wants it and would like to preserve it, because, you know, they, they do raise in value uh, over the years, I would rather see someone preserve it because it's an, it's an amazing book. So I am going to do a auction on that on Wednesday. So, but that's kind of the books that I've got, I'm going to have in the sale. They're all going to be like vintage and they're all going to be like, they're going to be worth something, but I don't want to take the time to, I don't have the time to list them for sale and stuff. So I am going to give you ladies the chance to do it. Somebody's going to get a good bargain. Yes, yes, because they're going to be super cheap. So, because I just want to get them out of my way. Now, see, y'all can hear every little move I make with this. I like my phone better. <laughs> what are you on? I'm going through my computer with a webcam. Oh. That's why I'm trying to figure everything out because I'm doing it different than I've ever done it before. I want to get me a computer that has a webcam. I think that'd be very nice. Well, this is a external webcam you just buy and plug into the computer. Oh, really? Yeah. That's too much for me. Oh. I'm going to go double screen for a minute, Donna. I want to show oh, no. I want to show you what I made too. Okay. Um someone sent me a freebie and some stuff that I got and it was a big cone of this orange thread, but it was real silky and shiny. So I made these bows. I'm looking for something white to red on the scene. See. I made these bows out of it, and I thought they turned out so good. Can y'all see those? I'll put them in the light. You probably could. Oh my god! Woman, you're uh, killing me. <laughs> they're a uh, Halloween orange oh Almost they a, look gold well they're kind of a coppery but to put in the Halloween journal things I made some witches brooms too <laughs> oh my goodness probably better like that And they're so, so I don't know. cool. They're real you know, super even soft. Even the, the sticks off. You could those are gorgeous tassels. Uh-huh. Those I'm are gonna beautiful. make some of those too, because she sent a huge cone of this thread and I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Wow. So I just made some of those. <laughs> Those are put in the journal. Kits. But y'all, I'm sold out of Halloween journal kits. I had to make four more. Nope, it wasn't Garfield, Lucy, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to use one on a rosette. How about that? I'm going to okay. make a Halloween rosette. I'm sorry for all the noise. I'm not used to this. I'm going back to my phone after this time, y'all. This is too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs>
Plus, it's really super loud. Is it loud on your end? It's not on mine. Yes, I'm loud and I'm saying everything twice. And y'all can hear every bag and every thing I drop and dig through. <laughs> Yep, you can't hide nothing from us, honey. Not today, I can't. <laughs> that won't happen again. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> My brother said that's a keyboard broom to clean your keyboard with. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is a good idea. Well, I just lost that applique. Can't see that uh -huh. little booger now. He's gone. He's back there. He really is, but you can't see him. Flying applique. <laughs> yep. No, see, he's there. He's in the back. You just can't see him now because I put that big old fluffy bow on there. That's the problem I have with stacking stuff up. I hate hiding everything. It's like you waste it. Yeah. You can't see it. What are you working on, Janice? I'm digging looking for stuff to make a Halloween rosette. Ooh. With this orange bow. Sounds like I went to the grocery and I'm putting up groceries, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it sounds too bad on my end, really. Well, it sounds like everything I touch crunches. Lizzie says she shaved Garfield to use his orange hair. Yeah. I had to use that pumpkin somewhere. I, I love, love those pumpkins. Oh, I do too. So pretty. Too hard to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't mind the noise. The end result is, is uh, seeing your gorgeous work. So you make all the noise you want to, honey. Well, at least when I dropped the glue, it was in the hallway when I was coming. <laughs> I 
I think somebody needs to invent a microwave oven where if you don't have anything, you can say, Donna, I need some glue, and you can put it in the microwave and send it to me. A portal. Would that not be so cool? Yeah, then we could share everything. I'd want, like, three microwaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If it only worked one to one person's house, then you'd have to have a whole wall of nothing but microwaves. <laughs> oh, that'd be something, wouldn't it? We used to say, you know, wouldn't that be cool? And then now some of that stuff's come to pass. Yeah. You might better watch out what we wish for. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Is anybody else crafting tonight? What's everybody making? Sorry, you guys. I'm out of frame here. I wasn't paying any attention. I was looking for some lace to go around this little tickets that I layered up here. Is that a mint green you got on the one with the pink bow? Mint pink green bow. On the edges? Mint green, yes. Mint green uh, lace, yes. Oh, that is pretty. Yes. I did the other one mostly in blues because there's a lot of blue in the in this kit. So this okay. one I wanted to add more pink and mint green to. That's cool. Did you see the colors that's in this month's kit? Yes. I was like, oh, I bet Janice is drooling. I definitely am. I can't wait to print it out. Oh, ladies. If you like digitals, this is this is the the group you would absolutely love being in. If you like shabby and you like digitals, this is a win-win. Yes. I got the June kit, I think it was. And it was like a shabby farmhouse and it had the cutest ducks and pigs. Oh, that's the one with pig. Oh, that was so bad. And the quilted pattern for the papers and all is all in shabby colors. Yes, that quilted one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my brother must have a lag because he's commenting on the microwave but he said no you dial a number like the phone then you micro portal anything that wouldn't that be cool. sweet yeah Jane I need some more coffee cups made of wood micro portal them to me I'm sorry. I'm out of I'm out of view. I don't know where my circle's at. Um, go to your left, just a hair. Are you using a crochet hook to do that? Yeah, <laughs> it works. That's better. a good idea. In my fingers. It works better than my fingers. I and I can take it. I can take hood. it. Like, move it you know around and move my my ribbon up and down and it just works out so well that is such a good idea i usually use my long tweezers i never thought of using my crochet hooks for that yeah i've got like 20 crochet hooks in a little bucket right here in front of me because i 
like to crochet a lot at night. Yeah, mine's beside my bed in my little pocket thing I got. Because I'll sit there and watch TV and crochet. <laughs> I saw the cutest. It's, you know what those wind spinners are that, you know, I usually see them made out of metal and stuff. I saw like a cutest, windmill or a pinwheel? Like a wind spinner. It's like in a continuous spiral. Yeah. And I saw one made out, and someone crocheted it. <sighs> That's cool. Yes, I'm going to make one. They're so cute. I think my grandkids would absolutely adore that. Mom, did you do that? She can crochet anything. You just about look at it. Oh, uh, I love well, here's crochet. really cool. My brother, the woodcrafter, also crochets. Really? Yes, and while his daughters were being born while he was in the waiting room. He was crocheting them their first baby blanket. Oh, that is so cool. Do you Isn't still that awesome? Have oh, yeah. He's still got them. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. He crocheted each one of his girls their first little Afghan baby blanket, whatever. Oh, that is so neat. I just thought that was amazing that while they're being born, he's sitting out there instead of pacing, he's crocheting. <laughs> well, keep the hands busy. It keeps the mind calm. Mm -hmm. Took me a lot of years to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's something that comes with age. Yeah. Knowledge. <laughs> and it don't hurt for your children to grow up either. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll tell you, I never had any good hair until uh, my middle son pulled a a doozy, and oh my goodness, it was like a week later, I was gray. <laughs> I've got one side of my head turning gray. This is going to turn gray. I wish I'd do it on evenly. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted white. I wanted the white silver, and I didn't get it. I got the darker gray color, but I wanted the white silver. That's the way my grandmother was. She could not wait. She wanted a full head of snow white hair. I just think that's so beautiful. But I wasn't lucky enough to get it. I got the dark gray. I don't know what I got. Mine's too curly to tell. Mine's so thin, if it keeps falling out, I ain't going to have no hair. I'm going to have to just be shiny. I'm going to be old shiny top. <laughs> I'm right there with you. My grandson moved over to bed the other day, and he goes, Grandma, you need to get that checked out. I can see your scalp. <laughs> oh, no. I said, I know. Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. Turn that light off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't show my face on here because I got like six lights on. I would probably look bald. <laughs> I've always had thin hair, but now I really got thin hair. Donna, they can't see what you're doing, hun. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Sorry, brother. That's too sweet not to tell.
and my chair squeaks. Yep, we're going back to the phone. Going back to the phone? Yeah, I ain't going to deal with all this. This is too much. Let's see. We've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, working on the seventh. And I still have three, four, five, six. Six, Are you going to have a word on it or just the decorations? Huh? Are you going to have a word on it or just the decorations? Um, I got the little letters here. I thought I'd put them on one of them. I don't know which one I'm putting it on yet. It says fall in the little uh, Scrabble tiles. Oh, cool. So I'll probably use that on one of them. Can you hear every little click that I'm hearing? I don't hear no click. No, I'm talking about when I'm moving around and doing stuff and I open something and everything. Can you hear all that? Yeah, but it's not bad. I feel like everything I touch makes a loud noise. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. Hi, Deb. How you feeling, honey? Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Deb. What's Camden doing this evening? Well, he was finishing up his schoolwork, but he got it finished, so now he gets to play on Xbox. Oh, there you go. There are actually schools here in North Carolina that have went back to all virtual because they had like 900 kids in quarantine because of COVID. Oh my goodness! So Did you see the, Sabrina, the mismatch crafter? She was on earlier, and she said her son tested positive for COVID today. Oh no! Yeah, uh, I don't know how old he is. He's not that old, though. No, he's like six, seven, maybe eight. Yeah, it's kind of young. I, I, I hate it when the kids get sick. Yeah, me too. Well, Deb, we'll definitely keep you in our prayers, hon. Says it's normal. <laughs> Normal, huh? No, I didn't tell them that you taught the girls to crochet. <laughs> My brother taught his daughters to crochet, too. That is so cool. It is. It's really cool. But he didn't only teach them how to crochet. He takes them out in the wood shop and teaches them how to use all the tools and make bird houses and everything else. That's good because, you know, a lot of girls have no clue what to do with a power tool. But, you know, if they, if they happen to need to use them, they need mm -hmm. to know that. Exactly. These girls can, boy, they can go out there and use just about any of them. That's good. That's good. 
most women very are very artistic. Busy. They can paint and draw. Oh my goodness. They draw better than I even thought about. And my brother can draw like nobody's business. My granddaughter's that way. I'm trying to get her to make up some paintings. Uh, she wants to raise money for her college. And I said, well, make some paintings and I can put some of them on YouTube, you know? Yeah. Because she's, oh my gosh, she's so good at it. But she's so busy. She's trying to work and earn money for college. And, you know, it's just, it's tough these days. Yeah, it is. And she's right there in that transition and yeah. trying to do everything adult and school. It's hard. Yeah, working and she's moved into her own place. And, you know, she's trying to earn all the money for her books and and tuitions and everything she's saved for the last four years since she's wow. been working and uh for her college and you know it's tough it is and college is not cheap boy i tell you what my son went to college uh almost 15 years ago and he still owes money yep Yep. Her, mama, her mama went for nursing and she's still paying too. You just, wow. it's a vicious cycle. They were, were talking on the news tonight something about um, in their package thing they're putting together that they're trying to make it where the first two years of college are free. Oh, that'd be a blessing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Sorry, guys. Had to pull it out of the way so I could reach. My glue gun won't reach over there. Yeah, they can't really see what you're doing. They just see it sitting there after you've done it. Deb wants to know if you can make her some fall color ribbon. Deb, you talking about the seam binding? I have a I fall pack. I thought you did. Yeah, I got a fall pack. Uh... Deb also said that her daughter Robin has your packages and she will mail them soon. She's making sure they're safe. Has my packages. Oh, Miss Deb. Yeah. For the the swap, the monthly swap, I got gotcha. you. Paul, are you talking about an email or an IG or messenger? Because I got an email that it was canceled.
Okay, Paula, I'll check it here in a little bit when we're done. Uh, yeah, I usually have it on the sales tab. I'll slip it in your uh, package from the swap, the fall set. Oh, that trim is adorable. You see that? Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's it like is. a green twine on there, and it's little pom poms on the white. It's so cute. It is cute. I'm going to start rethinking keeping everything in cellophane bags. Are you, you don't like that no more or what? They're making too much noise. Uh -oh. I don't use them a lot for storage. Well, like when it's like a bunch of die cuts and stuff, I stick them in the bags. Oh, yeah. I stick them in the envelopes. Like... You craft so fast, Donna. I do, really? Yeah. It would take me a week to do that banner. Would it really? Oh, oh I'll wait. put it together in just a few hours. I just whoop her. I just whoop her up right now. You sure do. The thing is blurry, but I think it's because the light's too bright. I grabbed a bucket and I went through and I grabbed all kinds of pretty stuff to craft with and So now I'm in the bucket. I'm a messy crafter. I have to pull everything out and look through everything in order to make something. It takes me two two days just to get everything together. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Hendrick. I'm making a banner, Miss Deb. It's a fall theme banner and it's shabby. I put it back on double because yours was just taking up the middle of the screen anyway. You're not it's the same. Yeah, sorry. And I'm I'm just It's okay. I'm not up in here because it's so far up from me that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, and this is new for me, too, with this up over me like this. The webcam and the echo and all this kind of stuff. I get sidetracked. I start one and then I go to another one. <laughs> I ain't even going to go there. <laughs> Which one you want to see? Here's the green. Wait a minute. If I hold it up too close, let me do this. Oh, my goodness. 
You just did those while we sit sitting here? Yeah, but I kind of had part of it already made. I cheated. You're so cute. Did you tell him to be a girl? No. It's a digital. Is it? Yeah. Those are cute. I love the I one on the white one. I got a new light thing here, too, I'm trying to figure out. I got too much new stuff, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's what's happening. Alright, there's that one. Oh, those are so cute. This is the purple. Can't see his face. Thank you so much, Deb. Can you see his face? Too much light. Something's going on. Let's see. You getting rain, Robin? I can't you see the face. Oh well. And this there, is the orange there. one. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. And then this one I'm still working on. This is my oh. semi-shabby Halloween. I ain't done with it yet, though. That is adorable. Thank you. And that bow just, oh my goodness. That just gives it life. I really like that yarn. And my brother had a bunch of combs of yarn. If you still have those, brother, if any of them's real shiny like this, I need them to make bows. Thank you, Robin. Um, I'm. Yes, the answer to that is yes, Deb. They're, they are fringe rosettes that I just, I showed how to make one earlier. I'll show how to make them again for people that come in later, but they're fringe rosettes. I make the regular rosettes too. But at our next, if I have time at the next sale, I'll have some for sale. But if it's not at this next sale, it'll be at the one after that. I got a dark color down here that you can see it better. Yellow, that not work. There we go. I can't believe you can put one of those banners together in a day, Donna. Oh, I love to craft. I know, but one day? I just, yeah. I just couldn't do it in a day. <laughs> If I really put my mind to it, I could probably make two of them in a day's time. I believe that you craft really fast. I can't craft that fast. There. How's that look? Gorgeous. I love the Scrabble tiles the way you did that. Yeah, I think those are so cool. I got my ladies at the thrift store looking out for some Scrabble tiles for me. I see them buying them from somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember where they was getting them from. Michael's, maybe? Hmm. I bet my um, woodcrafting brother could make some. 
after he gets through with all this corporal tunnel surgeries. Yeah. I just don't know how time consuming they are. But see, his wife does wood burning. And oh, his daughters wow. might do that too. So he could just cut out a bunch of squares and let them burn in the letters into it. Yes. That would be cool. See what you can do with cupcake picks, y'all? <laughs> They're good to use on their zeds. Is that what those are? Yeah. Well, these are. They look like little signs. But they're cupcake picks. And oh, that that's so cute. That is so cute. I was trying to find my candy corn that I made. You made candy corn? Yeah, you know, fake candy corn to use in my Halloween stuff. Woman. I made it out of clay. There's one. I got a whole bunch of them around here somewhere. But I was doing pastel Halloween. And I couldn't find any pastel candy corn, so I made some. And you did it out There's of clay? One. Yeah. Air dry clay. There's my pink candy corn. Oh my goodness gracious. Would you look at that? Put that on there. Tutorial screen girls. Tutorial tutorial. Here's my clay candle like I put on my dresser. The little candles I made to put on the dresser. Oh my goodness. That's clay. Should have called yeah, this show and tell. So we could put <laughs> out for like a week. Would that be fun to have something to craft with? Uh, yeah, it is. To have someone to craft with. I would love that. Well, I okay. can craft with my brother. I just have to drive two hours to go see him. I had pink behind the white. Does that look good? Yeah. Pink. That looks great. Those are cupcake picks, too, Deb. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. Yeah. Sometimes I cut the stick off of them and just use them without the stick. The spiders is over here, missed it. I'm finding a lot of webs anyway. <laughs> Back them up and sell them at the next sale. <laughs> <laughs> Spider webs. I love my glue gun. But I don't like these little spider webs. Yeah, I don't either. I have a whole box of that candy corn that I made. I don't know what I do with it. I know what I want to show you, Donna. Remember I was asking you what paper you did those bows out of? I can't find the one with the little tiny roses on it. There it is. These are the bows that you sent me that I keep asking you what paper. Oh, okay, okay. 
See that one with the little flowers? I don't know if you can see. I think the back of it's got the little flowers hanging on. That paper right there. I can't see it good enough to tell. There. Can you see it now? I'll just take a picture of it and send it to you. I love these bows though, but I really like this paper and I need to know where you got it. I, I can't see it good enough to tell what it is. Oh, Deb's got a question for you on the screen. Thank you, Deb. Deb, I would love some, and I would buy them from you, honey. You uh, put a package together and let me know. I would buy them from you. I would love them. Or we could swap some seam binding or whatever you want. Well, I've seen Miss Deb's laces. I'll swap some laces with you too, Miss Deb. You got pretty lace. She's got gorgeous, gorgeous, yes, gorgeous. She does. Donna, do you want to try to sell on my channel this Wednesday for our sale? If you think we can do or let's get let's do it. I'll do it on my phone. We'll do it. Okay. Okay, so I'll start advertising but those of you that are here now, we're gonna do the Wednesday sale here on Jelly Bean Junction instead of Donna's channel. We're trying to eliminate all the technical difficulties and if I just do it with my phone I think we'll be okay. <laughs> We'll give it a try anyway. Yep. If it don't work, we can always stop and go to your channel. <laughs> yeah. You see these little tiny Thank you, Shirley. rose trims? Yes. Does anybody love know those. where to buy these from? Where do you get them from? I don't know. I want to know. I want to buy some. This is all I have left is this right here. What color is that one? This one is like a pinkish mauve and different shades of pink. And this one is a pink, blue, and yellow. It's a pastel. I have some purple. That's all I have. I, I don't have but just a little tiny bit of my other colors. I've been trying to find yellow. Yellow. Oh, I would love yellow. Yeah, I would too. If you find any, let me know. But I don't know what they call it in order to. It's I mean, a, you take in rose trim, and you get. I think you know, it's called an embroidery trim. Oh, I never tried that. You're probably right. But I tell yeah, you what, there's plenty of ladies out here selling all kind of trims. Matter of fact, um. I think it, Carla's got a bunch of trims. She might have some. And Rebecca Wills has a bunch of, bunch of small trim. Hmm. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, they have sales about every week. I know. I, I Ed, do you know where to get oh. that trim? Amazon. What do you search for for it, Robin? And I never looked on Amazon. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Thank you so much for coming. Hey, Chris. We're just crafting tonight, having a crafting chat. But yeah, next okay. week we're going to... Or this coming Wednesday, we're going to have the sale on this channel instead of Donna's channel. So 
see how it works out. Janice was showing us how to make the shabby rosettes there on her on her screen, and I'm working on a shabby fall banner. You know, uh, showing how to make these fringed rosettes. I am going to sell some at my sales when I get enough of them made. But uh, I was showing y'all how to make them in case you couldn't wait. <laughs> Is Cruz still here? I was going to show her how to make that bow again if she wanted to see it. Oh, you got some of that in yellow, Deb? Oh, man. <laughs> if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, use that, I would definitely buy that from you. I would buy some from you, too, Deb. Cruz, do you want to see how I do the bow again? Or you didn't see it the first time, but I mean, do you want to see? Let me clean up my mess here. The bows are the easiest part. The dark color, so you can see. Yeah, I'm hearing every little noise, every tear, every cut, everything through here. Deb, I'm going to put my email in the description box. Email me and I will give you my phone number and so we can talk. Oops. Okay, to make the bow, first I cut one piece about two inches long. And this is crepe paper, just regular Dollar Tree crepe paper. For those who weren't here, I know you've seen that part of Cruise. <laughs> and then I just fold it twice to make a little strip. And then I take my ribbon, or this is about 12, 14 inches long. I didn't really measure it, but if you fold it in half and fold, find the center, and then just take this and like X it over, you're going to make an X over the top of the back center. You make it look kind of like a bow, and then you just pinch it. And gather it take your middle piece fold around the center and glue it in the back and then you're gonna glue the back and then you just fluff your bow the way you want it while I bow so easy. That is so cool. I never would have guessed it was that easy. That's what I said when you told me, oh, I bet that takes so long. I was like, no way. <laughs> and then just cut your ends the way you want them. 
fish tell them or are we frozen? I can hear you. Hey, what I see you moving. Oh, I can't hear anymore. Y'all can hear me, but I can't hear. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Hang on a minute. I just can't hear, that's all. I don't know why it automatically goes up there. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, you, we've never lost you. Well, I couldn't hear. I could see, but I couldn't hear. <laughs> Robin, why are you using a witch voice? Yes, I did, Chris, but I can show you again real quick. It only takes a few minutes. Move Bo up the way. I take a piece of crepe paper that's 48 inches long, approximately. I really don't measure, but for the sake of teaching, I'm not always a very good teacher, but I'm trying to get better at it. I'll take a piece of crepe paper, 48 inches long approximately, and fold it in half. And this is going to be the part that you make the rosette out of. But to cut it, you're going to fold it in half two more times. So you fold it in half, and then in half again. And try to make your ends even if you're using the same scissors the fringe scissors like because if you don't you could cut it where it doesn't continue or cut it off but then I have these fringe scissors and actually these are not fringe scissors these are scissors that I got from Dollar General on clearance they are herb cutting scissors but they're just like the frame scissors a lot cheaper too and then I just cut about halfway up all the way across it doesn't have to be perfect And then it looks like, now it's too dark, you can't see it. Get close so you can see. It's got the fringe cut halfway up. Then you're going to unfold it twice to where it's back to the 24 inches double. And then you just do like you do a regular rosette out of the crepe paper. You're just going to, let me see if I can get closer so y'all can see. You're going to fold and like make a little pleat going all the way around. You just take it about a thumb's width and then fold it over. Let me get in frame here. I'll do it again. I got many times to do it. 
just take it and kind of show it this. Let me turn some more lights on to see if you can see better. Pull it so it stays together, the two of them, because you're working with a double. And then you're going to take it and just like fold it over. If you can see. Just like you do the regular rosettes. And you're going to go all the way around. And this is enough to go around twice. And that's what makes them so fluffy. You're just going to fold them over. Keep going around. And it ends up going around about twice. I don't have my spot marked off in the air, I'm standing up. <laughs> so I keep going out of the frame. <laughs> Oh, I know what one of my prizes are going to be this week at the sale. I'm going to give away those three rosettes down there that I made. Oh, my goodness. That is and awesome. Then, uh, once you get it all the way around, you're going to put staples in it, just like a regular rosette. Sometimes I make like an age just to hold everything down real good. And then I go around the edges and kind of fluff it up. Voila, Rosette. Isn't that cool? I think I'm going to send Miss Deb this banner since I missed her challenge. Oh, she had a challenge? I didn't see it. I've been getting so much ready for school, I've been missing everything. Yeah, and I missed it. I intended to make her something send it, but I missed it, so I think I'm going to send her this banner after I get it done. That is awesome. Yeah. I know she would love that. It needs lots of bling. It'll get it. <laughs> Robin said you might as well send him the cruise. You know she's going to win. Well, oh. <laughs> that might not be the one that I used to... That may not be the word giveaway prize. That might be the random number prize. So, Robin, you think of a good number between now and Wednesday. How about that? I got something else in mind for the word prize. I tell you what, I'm going to do something, and Donna, I didn't talk to you about this beforehand, because I just thought of it, but I'm going to give y'all a bonus word for the ones that come tonight. I'm going to give you a word tonight, and I'll draw for it on Wednesday, but I'm going to do it exactly the same way. I'm going to put it in the chat, and I'm going to delete it here in just a little while. So those of you who are here tonight are the only ones that are going to know this word. Are you ready? i got to figure out where I'm typing. i got two screens up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Thank you so much, Chris. Okay. I'll see the secret word, the bonus word. I didn't write it down. I'm only going to leave it up for another few seconds. Oops, I won. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for those who weren't paying attention, too bad. Look real quick. Three, two, one. Bye bye. They are on it. They are on it. <laughs> you just wait till Wednesday. Yep. Now, see, Robin, you got a double chance to win. But I better write that down so I won't forget it. <laughs> Glad you like it, Deb, because it's coming your way, honey. And I am going to try to start coming back on my channel more, y'all. I'm going to try to start doing some more tutorials, and I'll try to do more lives. I've got to get all the bugs worked out of all my equipment I got set up. And figure it out. You might see a couple test runs come up during the week. I might try testing some different things. But I'll put test as the subject title. If you see that, it's nothing but me trying to figure stuff out. It's nothing important. <laughs> Donna, I need you to help me test it. Will you be That's my okay. I'm here. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing, so whenever you just let me know when you want to do it. Well, I don't know exactly when. Right now, with this being the second week of school and trying to figure out half the apps aren't working correctly that they're using for school, and we're having to do things a little bit differently. So. Once all the bugs get worked out with that, and when I have a minute, he's doing something else. Plus, too, while he's doing a Zoom class, I don't want to be in the background yelling, Can you hear me? Why is it echoing? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, when he's doing Zoom classes, I don't even usually answer the phone. But anyway, speaking of school, it is a school night, and I still have a few things we got to do before we go to bed. So, but I want to thank all you ladies for coming. Yes, and hanging so, out with us. So much. This was so fun. It was, and I think we need to do this more often, don't you? Yes, absolutely. I'll show you the last two pieces that I'm working on here. Those are so pretty. They already look done, Donna. <laughs> they ain't got I no bling. You were done with them. They can't be done till they get blinged up. Oh yeah. I gotta I gotta add the bling. Those are so pretty. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Well, Deb, I try to send everybody an email. If you want me to put you on the email list, if you'll email me, um... I think I got you on my Instagram. Send me your email in my in, in the Instagram, and I'll put you on that list. Did you get my email, Miss Deb? Or yeah, my email address. I wrote it down earlier, so you can uh, email me. I want to give you my phone number so we can talk.
or type your email in the chat and I'll email you. And I'll give you my phone number. Thank you, Paula, for coming. Thank you, Shirley. Sweet. I'll write that down. And I'll email you, honey. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Y'all all have a blessed night. And we will see you Wednesday, hopefully. Yes, definitely. Got lots of new good stuff for you guys. Can't yes. wait to see you. I got Night, something listen, a little Miss bit Deb, different love too. Love you, Miss Deb. You take care. And I'll be talking to you. I'll go ahead and email you here pretty quick. All right. Uh, Good night, everyone. You. Good night, you guys.